Roughly every 14 months for 14 days, the energy equivalent to a magnitude 7 earthquake is released right under Vancouver Island. In fact, more than 8,000 tremors, so small they could be mistaken for background noise on a seismogram, have been registered between North Vancouver Island and Seattle over the past few weeks. Now, most people living on the West Coast are not even aware that this is going on until the December 29th magnitude 4.8 earthquake rattled thousands of people out of their bed. So what's going on here? And more importantly, is this cause for alarm? Well, as many of you know, the south coast of BC is actually part of the Cascadia subduction zone. This is where the Pacific tectonic plate, the Juan de Fuca plate, is actually trying to subduct or move underneath the North American plate, the one we sit on. And the force of that movement is actually pushing Vancouver Island back towards the mainland, only at a rate of about 7 millimeters per year. But over the past decade, scientists have learned via GPS measurements that every now and then Vancouver Island will quietly slip back towards the ocean a little bit. That slipping motion comes in the form of these thousands of tiny tremors, not large enough to usually be felt. These little tremor and slip episodes, as they're called, are actually quite useful for seismologists because they provide more information about how the plates are moving and they may help us to understand more about the big one. Now that big one is a mega thrust earthquake, larger than magnitude nine that will eventually happen. A section of the boundary between that ocean plate trying to move under the North American plate has become stuck for centuries and pressure is building. Seismologists can't say for sure if there's any stress transfer between the locked section of the plate and these little tremors, the link is far too uncertain. The December 29th earthquake was also only possibly part of that slip event, but dozens of seismologists from right across the Pacific Northwest are learning more about what's going on under our feet every day. The same phenomenon happens in other parts of the world, in other subduction zones like Japan. BC though is the only province that actually sits right next to a tectonic plate, so the only place we know of in Canada that gets these types of small earthquakes. However, the rest of the country is not immune to earthquakes. Old fault lines can sometimes get reactivated as the earth continues to rebound from the ice age across the eastern half of the country. And these kind of good earthquakes, the non-damaging kind, are always a good reminder for everyone in Canada to get an earthquake plan in place. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.